Okay, let's work a couple more. Here's a future value example. It says, if you buy an annuity in your retirement account, uh, and the annuity pays $1,000 per year over the next 20 years, how much will you have when you retire, right? So you're gonna get $1,000 a year, you're gonna reinvest this money into the, uh, the investment account, What's it gonna be worth after the 20 years? Uh, assume you earn a rate of 7%. So here we want to know the future value of this annuity. Uh, we know the payment. The payment is $1,000 per year. We know the N, we're gonna leave it, this payment is gonna occur for 20 years. We know the rate because we're gonna get 7% per year. Uh, we don't have any present value. We don't start with any money. Uh, we compute the future value, which is how much we'll have at the end, and we get forty thousand nine ninety five forty nine. Okay. Uh, so let's work one more. Uh, just uh, just one for fun. Uh, one for the dreamers of you out there. Uh, let's talk about the lottery. Okay. So let's say you win the lottery, and. For those of you that don't know, when you win the lottery, you get a choice. You get a choice between a lump sum and an annuity, a monthly payment over the next 35 years. And the lump sum is the present value of that annuity. So that's your choice, right? So you're never gonna win what that giant number on the billboard says. You drive by the billboard and it says, Powerball, 200 million. You're never gonna win 200 million. What you are gonna win is an annuity that will pay you out a total of 200 million, right? right? Or you're gonna win the present value of that annuity. So let me show you, right? The billboard is going to show you this value, $200,000 per month for 35 years times 12 months is 420 months. So 200,000 times 420 is 84 million. This is what's on the billboard. But you're never gonna win that. You are either going to win the annuity that pays you $200,000 for 420 months or you're offered the lump sum, which is the present value of this annuity. So your choice when you win the lottery is either this annuity or the present value of this annuity. And the present value of the annuity, well, we can solve for that. We know all about it now. We need the payment. We need the number of payments. We need the interest rate per period and the future value, if any. Well, the payment of the annuity is right there in the problem, 200,000 per month. N is monthly, so we need the number of months that we would receive that annuity. 35 years times 12 months per year is 420 months. The rate is 4% per annum. Again, annum is just Latin for uh, per year, annum and annual. So this is 4% per year. Again, this kind of Latin terminology is very common in contracts. So it's something you need to be aware of. You've seen it in your homework already. So um, we convert 4% per year to a monthly rate by dividing by the number of months in a year to get 0.3333% per month. Future value here is zero because we're not gonna get, we don't get any uh, uh, lump sum at the end. We're talking about taking a lump sum at the beginning. So we compute the present value of this annuity and we get 45,169,000 and again, if you if you enter 0.333, you're going to get a bigger difference than if you uh, set the uh, answer to be equal to that, especially because of the difference in the number of compounding periods, right? So I actually, I guess, let me just show you that. Right, so it's clear out here. We have 200,000 per month. This is our cash inflow. That's our payment. Uh, 35 times 12, 420 months. 
if I put 0.3333 as my IY and compute my present value, I get a pretty significant difference here. 45,172,142, right? If instead I do four divided, four, four divided by 12 and set that so that I don't have any rounding, I get the answer displayed here, right? So because of the size of the cash flows and the length of in, the rounding difference between 0.333 and 0 0.3333333333333 is a uh, is a several thousand dollars, right? So this is the kind of problem where you really have to be aware of the rounding issues that might pop up and just be really consistent with the way that you use your rounding.